this is something that you've known for a long time. You believe there are there is sort of aliens living amongst us. It could be us. We could be the aliens. And the reason I say that... Don't look at me like this. Let me oh, I was well, say you were a former politician. There's yes, many that feel they are aliens. You can trust me. You <laughs> okay. can trust yeah. the next Why do you think...? Because the universe has been around for about 14 billion years. And it's quite possible that life has been seeded from one place to another, either by accident, by, for example, asteroids bringing organic uh, ah. material here, or on purpose. Now, the second one's interesting, uh, because it is theoretically possible uh, that we were seeded here by a higher intelligence. I don't think they're travelling around in UFOs, which they forgot to hide from the US uh, intelligence or US uh, Air Force, but it would be conceivable that we are actually part of a bigger plan. So rather like, you know, seeds float on the wind, yeah. it could be possible that accidentally some DNA or something from, from another planet landed here on Earth and that is what we are. Yeah. We are part of that life. Uh, that's right. And there's, there's a credible strand of thought in uh, astro biology, really, to suggest that, and some major proponents of that. So it could be by accident, or theoretically it could mm. be by design. But if it's by design, they didn't drop it in a UFO. Okay. Frankly, <laughs> that's careless. OK, that's careless. Uh, yeah, very is, careless. Is this credible science, <laughs> Dr. Dr. Martin? So, yeah, so Lemmy's got two sides on that. And the first one, actually, is a credible hypothesis that okay. is being investigated. So this idea that um, the material for life, or even some of the very proto-life uh, from Earth, came from space perhaps mm. deposited by comets. That is uh, a credible hypothesis that we've been looking into. Particularly, you might remember the mission that landed on a comet, Rosetta. Yes. Yeah. Um, they were looking for evidence of that. Now, that particular comet, it found, wasn't the sort of comet that could have done that. Right. Um, but it is something that we're looking into. Now, taking the leap to then saying it was done on purpose is... It, is, a, is a leap too far, I think. There, mm. there, there is no evidence for that. We don't even have credible evidence yet that, that this idea that life did come from, from space um, is true, though it is something that we are thinking about and investigating thoroughly. So, so this, this huge number of people that believe in aliens and a big number of those people are threatening to storm Area 51 to look at this secret military base, which is often used in movies and series yes, and all sorts yes. of things, where the idea that they're investigating potentially aliens that have been found, alien craft, to see if they exist. Is there any credibility in your mind to that? No, other than that they, these are people that really want to believe in aliens. And I will say, I would like to believe that aliens do exist somewhere in the universe. I think it'd be fantastic... You're open if, to the idea of it if something... Oh, of course. I mean, and Lembit was right in saying that the universe is very old, it is incredibly huge, it would be inconceivable that life in some form doesn't exist somewhere. But saying that's intelligent life, that's anywhere that we would be able to contact or would even be able to come to here, is a different thing, because we have been looking for it. There's been SETI, the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, it's been running for decades looking for radio signals, and nothing um, has, has, has shown up that Well, really maybe they're looking evidence. too far away. Lembic thinks he could be an alien. <laughs> he could be all of us. This is what you're saying, isn't yeah, it? Well, it wouldn't just be it me. It would explain some things, <laughs> It though. would be other people, too. <laughs> Thanks very much indeed, Martin. The, the, the fact is that if we come from somewhere else, then we're all part of that in a Promethean way. But you believe that aliens do exist, don't you, I'm fundamentally? Sure, I'm sure of it. Now, why are you sure? Because there are something like 10,000 million, million, million planets, as far as we know, in the universe. Now, the, to believe that Earth is the only place that mm. life began is just not credible. And do you to me. think they've ever tried to come here? Well, they may have done, but let's seriously, if they have, they've got the intelligence and the ability to hide. The study's been done that if you take a lot of UFO sightings and when you can actually get extra evidence mm. around the events, they become explained. So they no longer become UFOs because you have the extra evidence. And, and in those 20% that, that you can't, it's often because that evidence isn't, isn't available. We don't always have that sort of thing. So actually the vast majority can later be explained. But let me put it this way. I'm involved in something called a SCARDI. It's the world's first space nation. So I'm back in politics in a cosmic way. And the idea is... Is that like to... cosmic like in The Young Ones? Uh, with Neil. <laughs> cosmic. You're that anyway, your age yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not, not exactly man. Yeah, you weren't <laughs> there, man. But the thing is that we're trying to create something which is a space nation, which doesn't export the problems of the Earth. It's the brainchild of a chap called Dr Igor Ashabeli, who's a billionaire from Azerbaijan, of course. Yeah. And if we can populate the universe then it's very arrogant for us to assume that other uh, intelligences haven't done the same thing. And if we did land on another planet, then we probably wouldn't disturb the neighbourhood. Quickly, would... then, Well, actually, we, 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 do, we don't want to disturb it, but I, the thing I want to point out is that 
Earth is 4.5 billion years old and intelligent life has only been on it for a few thousand years and we've only had radio communications for a hundred. That shows you how rare intelligence on a planet that actually has the capability of supporting life really is. So to think that they might even be in within our reach, given the vastness of the universe, uh, is an absolutely tiny probability. And without any yeah, evidence, okay. I'm not going to go okay. with But you. the Scardia's going out there. The Scardia's out there doing things. Lembic's going to be charging, oh. uh, leading the charge. Julie <laughs> says, oh, they exist. They come and visit us every so often, see how stupid we are, and then leave. <laughs> that seems very appropriate. Don't blame them. Good to speak to both of you this morning, though. Very exciting.